Here you go, guys. I want to give thanks to Coilover Depot. Uh, they do have hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of different suspension types for any type of vehicle. This is their link right there. Go check them out. You will not be disappointed. Um, let me open them up so you can see them. The brand of these coilovers, guys, is Megan Racing right there. Perfect. Like I mentioned, Coilover Depot has a lot of different uh, brands, a lot of different uh, combinations, and a lot of different uh, suspensions for every type of vehicle. There it is. All right, I'll be installing these coilovers on my 2020 Dodge Charger. I'm gonna show you the steps. I'm gonna show you what you need to do. All right, first of all, what you wanna do is measure from the wheel well to the rim. And mine, it's gonna be six inches. All right, right there. I already measured all of them and they're all six inches from the wheel well to the, to the rim. Why do you wanna measure it? Because if you wanna, you want to start from where it's at right now and then you can either lower your car or just leave leave it as is that's one of the reasons all right so let's just uh lift up the car that's your first step just measure let's lift up the car put some uh jack sands under it make sure it's secured start installing them Front and back tires have been removed. Now, let's start installing them. I'm gonna start with the front, it's a bit easier. Work my way to the back. All right, before removing anything, you gotta preload your springs. What does uh, preload mean? Let me show you. All right, when you get your coilovers, they're gonna be uh, preloaded already from the factory, meaning that the springs are already compressed to the exact uh, pounds, but if uh, you want to do it yourself, I already loosened this one right there. You can see spring is loose, so we're going to preload it. How did I uh, manage to loosen the spring? I just got the wrenches that have been supplied with the kit and you unloosen it. Okay, right there and right there. You unloosen it and it'll, uh, you will unloosen the spring, which I did. Now let me show you the preload. All right, there you go, loose. What you're gonna do, this top one, you're gonna tighten it by hand as much as possible. Until you can't no more. There it is, that's all I can go. Now this bottom one, go all the way, tighten it also. Now that's not the final step. What you're going to do, you're going to get your wrench, you're going to start tightening the top one only. Give it a couple of turns. What you're trying to do is the, amount, the thickness of this wrench has to fit in between these two. When you're set. Let me show you. There it is. Perfect. Now, move that one to the top. and tighten it. That's it. 
your spring has been preloaded, you're ready to go. All right, once you have them both preloaded, let's go back to the car, start disassembling. All right, on these chargers, you gotta remove this little cap right there where the screws for the shocks are and uh, un unloosen them. All right, let's start. You already saw the top. I haven't unloosened it yet, but let's start by unloosening this one. Okay, this one's gonna be an 18 mil. I'm not gonna take it off yet because I need this uh, arm to stay put right now. But I already unloosened it. Now I'm gonna unloosen this one right here. Alright, there you go. It has been removed. Now, let me remove the bottom one. This one right here. Alright, now that it's all loose, the strut is all loose. I'm gonna hit this one so that this can fall and move this out of the way, this knuckle out of the way. All right, I got a couple of zip ties just to hold this. Now let's go to the top so we can unbolt the strut. All right, I got one bolt holding it only. Let me just uh, hold it from the bottom and remove the, the nut from the top so we can so we can fall. There it is. It's loose. Let me just uh, get it out of here and install the new one. And there it is. That's the original. Now I'm gonna take it to compare it to the to the new one. All right, there it is. Comparing the two of them. This one's a little bit longer. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna loosen this up so that it'll be the same height then i can just start adjusting it from there all right in order to even out this this strut the new strut with the old strut i'm going to loosen this up and just twist this one off all you got to do is just twist it and it'll it'll grow there it is they're the same length so now i'm going to install it this way and I can adjust it from there, okay? All right, to install it, just do the reverse. Put everything back the way it was and tighten everything. And there it is, everything has been tightened. We're good to go. Now, let me just uh, move to the rear and show you how to install that. All right, the back is already installed. The thing is, I did record how I installed it, but the audio on this, uh, and those videos wasn't recording so I'm just gonna explain what I did and um, I'll leave the the recording that I did at the end of the video if you want to see how how it was done with no with no audio that way you can see it anyways all right first of all I unscrewed these two bolts and this bottom bolt right there which will allow me to remove the stock uh, shock okay now about the spring the spring you are gonna have to lower the arm but there's a bolt right there if you can see it which is uh, right behind the muffler so you're gonna have to drop the muffler a little bit in order for that bolt to be removed okay after that put the jack underneath so that you can uh, support the spring that's going to come out so it doesn't go flying all over. So just support the, the, the arm, lower the, the arm, and the spring will come out. And to install it, just do the, do the reverse. Just install the, the spring, this portion, and um, go ahead and lift up the, uh, the arm so that you can put the, the spring on. Now, this, the shock, it'll be the same thing. Just do the reverse part and 
just re-tighten everything up and you'll be good uh, after that just uh, tighten up the, the the muffler and you're done now if you want to lower or lift up the car this is where you're gonna do it right here okay get your your wrenches loosen this top this uh, top one up and then just uh, either lower it or lift it up that's all and then just tighten tighten it back and uh, you'll have your car wherever you want to set it and you'll be you'll be the perfect the perfect height all right let me install the rim back show you the car the final product how it uh, came out looks awesome mm -hmm.